Today, I will tell you a story of the Cuckoo family. In a big city of Bangkok, in Thailand, lives Asian quail. I see quail, the one which is black and red. Ooh, so much. And it's really difficult to see him because he's trying to hide in the trees. But he's so loud. I'm trying to find him. He's a big cuckoo and looks like a crow from afar. He has ruby red eyes and shiny black plumage. In fact, he is very proud of his plumage and often cleans his feathers. He has many brothers who also live around and they like to sing all together. It's not easy to see Asian quail because he covers very well in leaves and never goes to feed on the ground. But one can easily hear quail from everywhere. Asian quail is very proud of his loud voice. And he is now training his son to attract the beautiful lady of his heart. Here is an Asian quail lady. She's even more secretive than him. Her spotty plumage, which matches with the natural landscape around, helps her to hide perfectly away from human eyes. Together with her numerous sisters, she likes to eat fruits, some of which are known to be toxic to mammals. In hot summer days from March till August, she is in the mood for love. She hears excited calls of male quails and sometimes replies too. She's hoping to find a perfect match and to lay many eggs. Time passing 
passing by while couples found each other. Their eggs hatched in crow's nests. Crow's step parents fed well their step chicks. And now we can see beautiful young Asian quails are looking excitingly at this world. This young female quail looks practically like her mother, but for now her eyes aren't red. Today is a hot day and she opens her beak to cool down. She has already learned the art of camouflage and uses it very skillfully. enjoys every day of her life and eats a lot to grow to a beautiful, mature female. She eats a variety of insects, caterpillars, eggs, and small vertebrates. But mainly she feeds on fruit. Meanwhile, her brother, a young male quail, is enjoying his berries too. Soon he will look like an adult bird and will lose his white spotty feathers in plumage. Asian quails have distant relatives. One of them is a plaintive cuckoo. So happy, so excited. I found the cuckoo female, female cuckoo. This one, look at you. This elegant pied female looks like an Asian quail lady, but smaller, maximum 24 centimeters of size, and more brownish in plumage.
She doesn't see much, but enjoys resting on top of the trees, in open woodlands, edges, and agricultural areas, waiting for her soulmate. The cuckoo man, so cute. I just wanted to show you, he's so cool. I'm trying to spot again. Meanwhile, the plaintive cuckoo gentleman is ready to conquer a heart of a beautiful lady. He tries to sing at his best. His accelerating sound, which decreases in volume as it progresses. His sound is composed of a few whistled long notes followed by shorter breezy notes. Bangkok lives one more cuckoo, greater cuckoo, or crow pheasant. So excited! I am so excited, guys! Uh, it was my goal to spot the greater cuckoo. He is the biggest among three in the cuckoo family with 48 centimeters of size. He really looks like a crow with a long tail and coppery brown wings. And finally, I got him just near my balcony, near my balcony here. There he is. In fact, there are two. Here, a couple of cookhouse are sunbathing under the warm evening sun. They like to sunbathe in the mornings on the top of vegetation with their wings spread out. I am kind of whispering because I'm overexcited first. Second, I'm a little bit scared not to scare them away because they are quite close and I don't want to speak loudly. I don't want them to fly away. But there are, there are two and I hope they are a couple and they are trying to make a nest to grow their own chicks. He calls his beloved female cocoa with low coop coop coops. Sometimes she replies too. And they sing together where she has a lower pitched call. 
and when they speak, they speak so funny. It's like, ooh, 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 ooh. And it, <laughs> you must see it. I love him so much. In fact, the crater cocoa is quite big. You know, it's a quite big bird. It's like this kind of size. It's crow large size or maybe bigger even. Even that he likes to live in a wide range of habitats. From jungle to cultivation and urban gardens. He prefers to hide himself from our eyes. Kukau knows he can't fly well, so he often climbs about in vegetation or walks on the ground. It's also cuckoo, but they are uh, making their own nest and they also grow their own chicks. That's why I love them. Now the handsome gentleman is looking for his soulmate. He wants to find the very special love of his life. Who he will stay forever with. When he finds one, he will chase her on the ground and will bring food gifts. He will build a nest over about three to eight days where his lady will lay three to five eggs. They both will take part in growing their chicks. Then the circle of life will repeat itself again and again. Finally, I completed my goal. It was my goal, it was my objective to fly to spot greater Kuka and I did it just near my window, guys! Yeah! Thanks a lot for watching, thanks a lot for supporting me and see you next time in my next episode. Hi from Dunkirk!